Hi everybody, it's me, Amaya, and today I'm doing a slime video, but this one I ordered slime from Sheen. So Sheen, Sheen, whatever you want to call it, I ordered slime on there, and today I'm going to be reviewing it. So I'm going to go ahead and go down here and take these out of the packaging. So it came in a little baggie with um, two labels that weren't on the slime, but the labels came with it, which is kind of weird. And here this baggie of add-ins, this lollipop charm, and this watermelon charm. Um, so, these are listed under both butter slimes, so let me just get that packaging off. Uh, nothing leaked, so that's a good thing. And I'm going to be reading these on the texture, um, the colors, the scent, if it has one. All of the necessary things. And I'll be right back once I get this open. Okay, I got the packaging open. And I don't know why they didn't put a label on the slimes, but they set the label. So I'm just going to kind of assemble this, I guess. And put on the label. Little crooked, but... Boop, happy. Butter slime, happy time f with boys and girls. I messed up the logo a little bit, if you see there. But... Yeah, I typically see slime that already comes with a logo. I don't know. It's just kind of weird to me. See a slime that you have to put on the logo yourself. All right. So I'm going to focus on the pink slime first. So this one I'm not exactly sure I assembled. I assume they both have the sprinkles and maybe one has the library. One has the watermelon. I'm going to say this one's watermelon theme, but I don't have the listing. Okay. So. Ooh, I can smell it already. Hold on. Ooh. Ooh, it smells like perfume. Oh, my mom's allergic to perfume. She's not going to like it. It smells just like perfume. It smells like perfume. Dang, that is strong. If you don't like strong scents, this is not the slime for you. But I'm just going to assemble it. So I'm just going to add a few beads on top. Like so. And then add our little watermelon charm. Whew, this scent's so strong. Whew, I can smell it. Okay, now let's feel it. So, let me take the slime. Ooh, kind of dense. Let me take the slime out. Ooh, yeah, ooh. This is really, really dense. All right, so it has a pink and blue coloring. And it's just going to turn into a light pink. I mean, not pink and blue, pink and white. Okay, so when you first take it out of the container, it feels a little dense. But it kind of softens up as you play with it. To me, this kind of feels like... 80% clay, 20% slime. So it it feels bit it feels like 90% clay. But I could tell it does have a little bit of slime. It's not like pure clay, but I could tell it does have a little bit of slime in it. So I guess that's a plus. Oh, that's my that perfume set is so strong. Oh my gosh. This is like super strong. If you Oh my gosh. I'm sorry, but it's so strong. If you don't like perfume scents or allergic, because like my mom's allergic to perfume scents, so she can't play with the slime. But if you don't like super strong scents or perfume scents, it's not the slime for you. Um, It doesn't feel bad or anything. It just kind of feels like a very clay-like slime. The beads kind of stick to it, but as you can see, it kind of falls out everywhere. Um, It kind of is a good, it's a good holdable slime. I feel like if I just wanted something to just hold on the go, I would. But it's just basically pure clay, so it isn't bad or anything. And let's test it on ASMR wise. Not really a whole lot of bubble pops. Or, or pokes, which is to be expected with butter slimes. They typically don't have the best ASMR. But overall, both of these were like $2, so each one was like a dollar. For a dollar for this one, I, I feel like it, you can't really go wrong with it because it's only for a dollar, so it's not like anything's bad. So I'm going to just put this back in the container, like so. I love putting slice bag in the container. I think it looks just, it's, it plays so satisfying, and it looks so satisfying. Just to, like, put it back in the container like that. Mmm, love it. Okay, so I'm going to close that up. Boop, a few slimes leaking out. Don't worry. 
All right. All right, shut. Okay, good. Now let's move on to the blue slime. I'm assuming this one's gonna, it looks the same besides the blue. I'm pretty sure this one's just gonna be the same texture, but we will review it anyway. I'm gonna add basically the same thing. I just wanna spread it out a little bit more, but this time with the lollipop charm. Let me smell this one. Let's see if it smells perfume. Ooh. Hmm. I can't tell what that is. I don't know if it's scented or not. I'm gonna have to play with it to see. Ugh. Bust out. Ooh. Whoa. This one's really dense. Whoa. Okay. Kind like the other one. They start out dense, but they get a little softer as you play with them. All right. Um. So basically. The last one photo, this one basically feels the same. I feel like, I can't tell which one I think if I have more slime or if they have this same amount of slime or just a lot of clay, basically. But this, oh, it's kind of a minty perfume scent. This one was kind of just like a really strong, like, flower, like, typical perfume, so like the really strong ones. And this one just seems kind of like the, uh, it's more minty. It's like a minty perfume. I don't think I'm going to let my mom play with either of these because I don't want her to get a headache. Ghost lady, whatever you want to call her. But, um, I feel like they do say a little bit better in the slime, the bees. Maybe I didn't add as much, but I feel like they just do. Um, yeah, but this is just basically the same thing. Basically, mostly clay, not much. To be seen. It turns this white pretty color. Alright. I'm going to go ahead. Put this back in here. Let's watch. Love this part. Of it. it does feel very soft and creamy. Because it's clay. I wonder if I add the slime to like another slime. I don't have glue right now. So I can't really test that. But if it would make it more creamy. I don't know. Well, I know this video is a little shorter, but that is it for my sheen, sheen, whatever, slime. Um, overall, I would give them probably a six, a solid six out of ten. They weren't the worst. They're basically just clay. The scents were kind of overpowering, um, but they weren't super bad. I'll give them like a 5.5. They weren't super bad, but they definitely are my favorite. But uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my playtime so we can have more for time playing together. Some smell the perfume. And I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.